Trump dummy, dummy, dummy. What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Ebony Elliott, owner of Braids by Ebony LLC. Now, I know I look a little tired and stuff. It is early morning Saturday. I believe it's about 8.55 on a Saturday. Today is my day off. Um, whew, tired. You figured since it's my day off, I'll be sleeping and resting so that way I could catch up for the appointments I had this week. No, I'm still working even when I'm off. So today in this video, you guys are going to come with me to go shopping. Now, a lot of you guys was asking me, like, where do I buy my hair wholesale? I actually don't buy my hair wholesale. I do support the local hair stores. Um, and because I go to them all the time, they just automatically slap on a discount because they know I'm coming in there to spend some money. Um, but enough of me talking. Let's go. finally made it to the very first hair store we're going to today I believe we're either gonna go to three hair stores or maybe four depending how I feel like that. I lift all these heavy boxes in my car but um yes I am actually my first hair store I'm going to is beauty supply and it is in if you're from West Palm Beach Florida then it is in the food town plaza off of 45th Street and military Let's go inside. All right, you guys. So one of the reasons why I like coming to this store is because they have a variety of colors, especially in the expression hair that I like to use. Let me show you all the colors that they have here. I did my inventory recently before I got to the store so that way I know what colors I need and what colors I don't need um, so I will be back after I get everything in my cart and I get ready to check out all right so this is store number one we got to hit up two or three more stores and we're gonna fill up the rest of my car all right you guys so we made it to the second hair store and we about to go do some business let's go all right you guys how you doing sweetheart thank you okay you guys so I'm here at my second hair store and I love coming here because they also too have a lot of colors that I like to buy for my clients so we'll get started all right you guys so i know i said i'll probably do four stores but today i'm just gonna do three stores I did have a budget for $1,000. I've already spent $800 on the two boxes in the back. Well, the couple of boxes I got in the back for going to two hair stores. I got $200 left. So I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of like pins, jams, combs, and stuff like that um, from this last store. I'm actually going to Elegant. So once I get there, I'll kind of do more of the shopping experience with you guys with that one since I don't have to think so much about color of hair and things of that nature. All right. See you at the next door.
to get my shining jam from this particular store because it is $2.99. All the other hair stores sell it for $3.99. And because I have a VIP card, I do get a discount. So I'm really spending like $2.70 on each container. Okay, so this is the 8 ounce. This is the 8 ounce serum jam. I don't really like buying these because I feel like when I buy the bigger containers, I use more. Versus when I had the smaller ones, I did clear out their entire shelf, but it's okay because I left them, everybody else, the bigger bottles. But me, myself, I am gonna have fun with this. I shopping got a lot going on here um i got one more case to get finally finished everything y'all i spent a little bit more than what i was supposed to my budget was a thousand and i ended up spending a lot more than that not too much more probably like two three hundred dollars more oh y'all they gave me a free gift look at that and you can put that one on the side in the Thank you. We are all full and set. So I went from the black card that you guys seen in the previous slide to the VIP blue card for professionals. Um, being that I have my LLC and everything and my license to do hair, to braid hair, um, they upgraded a real nigga and I am excited about these discounts that I am going to be receiving moving forward. Okay, so we did start, it was about 8.55 in the morning. Now it's about 10.54 in, um, in the morning. So it took me about two hours to do everything. Um, the next step is to take everything home, organize everything on my racks, and get everything labeled. Um, so that way coming Monday, everything looks good. So right now we're still going through this organization stage where we put the rubber bands around the hair to keep everything kind of like together so we can see how much hair we have and then we could start putting it on um, the new colors and you know in the front and then maybe whatever colors that really didn't do so well we put it in the back and then the black in the back as well I wanted to do this little um, footnote at the end of this video because a lot of people are like, well, you know, it's kind of it's kind of great that you include hair into your services, but I can't afford to do that. Or um, how do I know what my clients might want and things of that nature? First off, like I like to tell people, when I first started doing hair, I couldn't afford to buy hair. Uh, my clients bought their own hair, they bought their own shining gem, they bought their own combs, whatever it is that I needed them to bring, I had them bring it. Um, when I did start to get a little bit of extra income, I started off including hair. Um, I'm going to give you the real tea. So this is how I started to really, really do hair, include hair into the service. So I would tell ladies, hey, I only need two packs of hair. You only need two packs of expression. And my clients never believed me, so they always had three packs. So after a while, about a month or so, I had a pack or like literally a box of hair just left over. And most people get one, one B, two. Um, so I had a lot of those colors. So one day someone asked me, do you include hair into the service? And I was just like, yeah, what color you need? So it so happened she needed a color too. And I had extra, so I added it into the price um, of the hairstyle. So that gave me the idea like, hey, when I get some extra money, I wanna go out and buy some hair. Um, at least I get to have the type of hair I like to braid with and the client doesn't have to worry about going to the hair store to go look for hair that I want in the color that she wants. 
So when I first started uh, including hair into the service, um, I think I ended up using like my tax money or something. And um, uh, I went in my first, my first case was just black hair only. So I only included one B at the time. Um, as business started getting better, I started including a little bit more colors, not much, maybe five, six colors. Um, and then when business really started to pick up, then that's when I started to get the two tones and all of these different colors I have now. Now I probably have over 30 colors, but I have a variety of those colors. So don't make, don't, don't think that you have to have all of this at the beginning because you don't. You don't need to have all of this at the beginning. Don't stress yourself. Um, here's another thing too. If you're concerned about like, hey, it's costing me too much money to um, add hair to the services, look at it this way. If you charge $100 to do braids, this is an, uh, this is an example. If you charge $100 to do braids and you know you need three or four packs of hair, let's say each pack of hair costs $5. Um, so three to four packs of hair, that's $15 to $20. So now what you're going to do is you're going to charge $115 or $120 for that hairstyle. Um, so what happens is you're including the hair into the service. Now, I know some people are like, well, why couldn't the client just go to the store themselves and get it themselves? But at the same time, you got to understand, you don't want your client to get to a certain hair store. They don't have the braiding hair that you like to braid in. Or they might not have the color that the client wants. Or now she's calling you in the middle of your busy braid schedule to continually ask you questions when you can eliminate all that and benefit both the braider and the client by just providing it yourself. So yes, it's something that you could include into your new prices, you could change your prices, so that way you are able to be able to purchase all of your hair um, in bulk in a sense. So when I say the term bulk, you know, buying in bulk, I mean just buying a lot of hair at one time, where me personally, I buy hair every three months, um, and I buy enough hair to last that long. Sometimes I have hair left over, sometimes I don't. Um, and then I just do inventory based on what colors sold and what colors didn't sell. Um, I think I, I pretty much um, went over um, everything as far as how I work with the hair. Um, and yes, I do, you know, I go to, you know, my local hair stores and support. Because after a while, when they see your face constantly over and over and over, you build that relationship with that hair store and that hair store starts to give you discounts on top of what you're, you know, you're doing anyway. So it ended up working out at the long run anyway. Um, I probably saved myself maybe $200 uh, in discounts um, over the three stores that I, I went to. And um, I think that's, that's pretty good. I mean, I'm getting the hair less than, you know, what they advertise for and, you know, it works out for everybody. Um, but thank you so much. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you like, subscribe, and share the video and hit that notification bell so when i post my next video y'all can see it um i know i'm spacing my videos kind of far in between when i tell you the a real life of a braider it's so tiring to you know braid hair and then call yourself setting up the camera and then having to edit the videos but like i said it took me about four days to record this so it definitely isn't as easy as people say it is but it could definitely be done. Um, I just want to say thank you for everybody who has subscribed already. And um, based off the videos that I have already, you know, everything is doing well. So thank you guys for helping my YouTube channel grow. You guys have a wonderful day.